What is up guys, welcome back to Dan's Reviews, and today we're going to be doing another Walking Dead discussion topic video leading up to the Walking Dead Season 8. This one is one that I heard a lot of people want to hear. What was my favorite season of the Walking Dead television series? What is my all-time favorite season of the Walking Dead Season 1 to 7? Which one is my favorite and we're going to rank them from best to worst. So, um... Here are all the uh, Blu-rays and DVDs for the seasons, except, uh, of course, Season 7 is not out on Blu-ray and DVD yet. That will be out this summer, so really excited for that. Of uh, I probably will review it when it comes out, so really, really excited for that. Usually it gets released uh, usually around August or September, uh, so late this summer. So really, really excited to get that, uh, the Season 7 Blu-ray and DVD, but... I do have the others. I uh, took them down from the uh, the backdrop right there. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, they kind of look kind of empty without them. Um, really cool. But uh, anyway, so um, we have all the uh, Walking Dead uh, seasons right here. Got season one. Got season two. Love season two. Uh, and we got some of the others. So um, these are all kind of in a jumble right now. So um, what I'm doing is I'm actually uh, going through a marathon of each season and actually looking through uh, every episode and everything like that. Uh, I'm actually doing a Walking Dead marathon now that the uh, season is over, season 7 is over. Uh, I just watched the pilot last night. I'm going to watch episode 2, maybe 3 tonight. Uh, so doing a little marathon of the Walking Dead. And you know what? I might actually do reviews for season 1, 2, until 6 because uh, this during the summer. Because I haven't actually reviewed those because I didn't start my channel since season 7 started. Well, since season 6 ended, basically. So, um, we're going to kind of slightly go over every season. And then I'm going to tell you guys what is my favorite season of The Walking Dead. So, obviously, each one is very special uh, of The Walking Dead. Of course, spoiler warning. Uh, each one is very special. So, um, okay. We start off with the infamous season 1. So, uh, The Walking Dead season 1, really great season. Um... Really love it. It's probably the best start to a series I've ever seen. Uh, especially watching the pilot with Andrew Lincoln and everything in the episode one last night it was pretty interesting. Uh, very, very interesting, and it very, it really does show how much the series has grown over the years. Uh, season one is great. I love seeing Glenn. I love seeing Rick. I love seeing Andrea. I love seeing Lori. Uh, just kidding. Love seeing. Um, some of the other characters, Dale, really, really cool. Uh, the Vatos is pretty cool. Uh, and we, I also really like to see Morgan at the beginning, too. Uh, we see, uh, uh, of course, episode one, Rick at Shaw. He wakes up in uh, the coma. Really, really cool. We see uh, Glenn and uh, Rick, uh, you know, go on the uh, gut suit. Rick finds his family again. Uh, you know, they find uh, the Vatos, uh, you know, and they fight over the bag of guns. And Glenn gets captured. It's really, really exciting. Uh, and, of course, we see at the end the CDC. So, season one's a great season, uh, but it's only six episodes. And that kind of is a little bit uh, unfair because it's such a great season. But if I had to pick, I don't think this is my favorite season of The Walking Dead. But it is solid. I love season one. And honestly, it is my favorite season one of any type of season one of a TV show uh, ever. So, really, really exciting. Uh, next one is The Walking Dead Season 2. So we get Season 2. I uh, really like this cover out right here of Rick uh, running uh, on the, uh, and uh, you know, running around. And you can see the uh, farmhouse right there. So this is a pretty cool uh, cover. And I really like how on the DVDs uh, you can see some of our uh, survivors right here. We get Rick on this one. Uh, we get uh, a pretty sick one of uh, Shane, Glenn, and uh, Daryl there. Dale, Andrea, and T-Dog. All of those characters are dead now. Herschel, Maggie, and Carol there. So, pretty cool. I uh, really do like uh, Season 2 a lot. of uh, A lot of Shane stuff. We see kind of Gar uh, Carl get shot. We get the, the highway. We get all that stuff. The beginning of the farm. We get the well walker, which is pretty disgusting, but really cool. We get Sophia. Uh, and then, of course, in the mid-season finale, we find out she was walker. Um... And by the way, I'm just kind of uh, br briefly going through this, you know. So uh, then we also get, of course, uh, 18 Miles Out with Rick and Shane. That was an awesome episode. I always love that episode. That was an awesome fight episode between Rick and Shane. Kind of sets up better angels, uh, right? Uh, we get the death of J uh, Jail. Uh, Dale in uh, Judge Jury Executioner. Really, really cool. Uh, kind of sad to see Dale go, though. I didn't really think they needed to, but uh, the reason why he left is because Frank Darabont actually uh, was not in the show anymore, and he wanted out, too. So, um, 
those guys might, uh, might have been close friends. Then we get Rick killing Shane, uh, and then we get, uh, of course, the huge Walker herd that gets, of course, Shane being Walker too was really cool. Uh, Carl puts him down and everything, but of course, uh, when they get run, uh, ran off the farm, really cool. We get uh, Randall and all that, and we get uh, Rick telling them that they're infected. We get the beginning of the, the kind of prison stuff at the end uh, with uh, seeing the prison, and we see Michonne, which is really cool as well. So, really sick season. Now, if I have to compare season two to season one, I think because it has more episodes, because of the stuff that they did with Shane, because of the, uh, the pretty severe character deaths we got that season with uh, Shane, Dale, uh, Sophia was pretty big too, so... Seeing Carl get shot, we see the, the, the farm, which was awesome. Uh, I like the TV series uh, version better of the farm. and The uh, the comic book series version of the farm is kind of a small little farm. It's not really that impressive. But personally, I'm going to say uh, that I actually... There were some slow episodes in this season uh, with where it was just kind of another episode of the farm. But man, this episode was really, really... Uh, the episode. This season was really, really killer. And I have to say, compared to season one, season two, I love season two. Uh, yeah, I would say, unfortunately, a little better. So, so far, season two is the winner. So... Okay, but not for too long. Then we get The Walking Dead Season 3. So, always love this poster, by the way, of Rick on top of the bus. Uh, my favorite poster of The Walking Dead. Uh, I don't know why I love this one so much. Just really cool seeing the prison, the clouds, Rick's there with the gun and everything. Really, really cool. I uh, uh, really like the picture back here, too, with the governor. We get Murrow right there. So, really cool. But... This season is amazing. If you, if you want to talk about a great season to watch from a TV show, this is a war all throughout this entire season. And throughout my marathon, I, I'm really excited to get to this stuff, the, the prison stuff. This is uh, really cool. So uh, we get the beginning of the governor. We get the Michonne stuff. We get Rick and them with Seed and kind of the prisoner stuff at the beginning. Really cool. We get two solid deaths. Lori, which was absolutely huge. And then we get the T-Dog death, which was really big too. Rick goes crazy, thinks he sees her. This entire season, they focus on that. I hate Lori, so I didn't really like that too much. But it's pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool to see her there, you know, come back as a ghost. Um, we get the fighting back and forth. We get the death of Merle. We get Rick and uh, the governor talking. Can't, they can't negotiate. We get Rick uh, meeting Morgan again, which was really sick. I uh, love that episode, Clear. Uh, we don't see him for too much uh, longer after that. So really great episode. Uh, clear episode 13, I believe, was that uh, episode. Or was it 12? Uh, I think it was 13. I'm going to go with 13. I'm not sure. Um, I forget. Uh, the numbers are mixing up in my head. And then we get the finale, which I know a lot of people were disappointed about. But this season... Again, just like how season two beat out the previous season, I think this one beats out season two easily. Even from the first couple episodes, this one beats out season two. Because there are barely any boring episodes this season. If I if I had to pick one bad episode from this season, maybe I and a Judas. I, I didn't really like that one too much, but the rest are amazing. So, um, really amazing. So, then we get season four, which was another great season. Uh, I mean, they all are, but uh, this was a great one. I love the, uh, again, I love these pictures here. Uh, this one's really cool. We get the, the prison fences wrecked. And I remember before season four came on, I saw this poster. And I, I saw this, and I was like, oh, my God, are they going to do the too far gone part, right? Uh, that, that This is kind of a spoiler picture. I don't know if they should have released that before season four, but that was kind of a spoiler. Um... So we get uh, 30 Days Without an Accident. We get the illness stuff for the first five episodes, which is really crazy. We see Carol that kills Karen and David. She gets kicked out. Pretty pretty insane. But then we get the governor stuff. A lot of people didn't like that. I actually did like that quite a bit. Um, I love the governor. And then we end up seeing, uh, of course, Too Far Gone, which was awesome. Uh, I got to focus on that. Death of Herschel. After a season and a half of back and forth fighting, the governor... Doesn't really win. He, of course, dies. Um, Michonne gets her revenge. But then Rick Shub doesn't really win either because they, they did uh, have casualties like Herschel and maybe some of the other, uh, you know, random characters from Rick Shub there. So, really, really great. But I just love this season. The first half is awesome. Now, the second half, uh, a lot of people did not like that half uh, with our group separated and everything. I didn't like the lack of Rick, because he was only in a couple episodes that half, which was kind of unfortunate, but I didn't really like, uh, uh I liked After, that, that was a great one, uh, liked Inmates, that one was, uh, pretty good, but I think between those two I like After better, uh, claimed amazing episode, uh, really love that one, one of, the, one of the best ones from that half, uh, you know, with Rick and all that, uh, really crazy, um, 
still womp 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 do not like Beth and I don't like Daryl and Beth's relationship I never did I, I I didn't really care for that uh so that was not enjoyable for me um yeah I didn't really like that one too much uh, uh alone was uh, really great we saw Beth get taken it was really exciting we see Daryl get surrounded we, we see uh, Maggie and Sasha and Bob which the, yeah so that stuff was pretty good um the Grove really dark with Lizzie and Mika of course um yeah, don't worry, I didn't hurt her brain. Uh, yeah, well, you kind of killed her, so it doesn't matter. Uh, then we get the A, you know, on uh, 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 Us, I believe was the name. The last two episodes, Rick biting the guy's neck out, really crazy, and Terminus with the cliffhanger at the end. But they're all reunited, but really crazy at the beginning of season five. So really great season. So I have to say, I think season three is still, so far, the winter season. Season four was great, but the action of season three, I just don't think season four really, really did it. But... Uh, then we move on to probably the best season out of the five, which is The Walking Dead Season 5. This is an amazing season. Uh, the stuff with Beth, I'm not a big fan of. But the rest is absolutely incredible. We see the stuff with uh, Terminus, the first three episodes and all that. Just uh, I'm not going to go over all the details. That was the best three episodes ever with Carol and all. It's, it's just amazing. The Beth stuff... Didn't all like it. I uh, didn't really care for it. Uh, I like to consume though with Carol and Daryl. That was a good one. Um, Coda, we see the death of uh, Beth. We all see the death of Bob during the uh, Terminus thing. So really great from the comic book series. Uh, and then we get kind of the on the road stuff for most of uh, the second half of season five, which was really cool. I liked how uh, they were kind of starving, and it was a good few like I think like you know three or four episodes of just them like on the road. It's just. It was really uh, exhausting for them. And uh, really great because we get to see Alexandria at the end. Uh, a lot of people hope for No Way Out in the finale. I liked it pushed into season six. I really I really did. Um, mainly because they introduced Negan so soon that it was actually good uh, that, uh, you know, they didn't do it in season five because then Negan would show up even earlier, like mid-season six probably. So, and that I think we'd get closer to catching up at that point from the comic book series. So, you know what? That's like a good thing. No way it was pushed to the next season. Really like the wolf stuff, though, kind of starting in this one. Uh, and the Alexander stuff. Really good. Um... Then, uh, so I think that's the best season out of those five. Then we get season six, which was amazing. Uh, JSS, first time again, thank you. Those first three were amazing. I loved all of those uh, episodes. Seeing, um, you know, just the, the near-death experience for Glenn, seeing the big her, seeing the wolves and all that, Carol, just amazing. Uh, I'm really just kind of briefly going over this. Uh, the Morgan stuff, really great. A lot of people didn't like that. I really did. I love Lenny James. Uh, now, uh, Always Accountable, that kind of stuff, really great. Uh, with Daryl, uh, losing his crossbow, pretty major uh, for him. Seeing kind of the early version of Dwight without the burnt face. Uh, and seeing kind of the stuff uh, with No Way Out, which was like the best part of The Walking Dead for me. Uh, seeing kind of Negan stuff, kind of starting with uh, a larger world and everything. Really cool with the saviors, the Denise death and all that stuff. And then Negan showing up at the end. So I think with that, I think it's a tie between season 5 and 6. But I think with, when you have Negan and you have all the No Way Out stuff, I think I'm going to have to go season 6. So, how does season 7 fit in with the others? Um, just because of the fact that we saw two major characters that we love get killed off. Uh, I mean, we see that all the time. Uh, we see Sasha die at the end of the season 2. And we see our group kind of pinned down for most of the season. We Our groups are kind of split everywhere. Daryl's at the sanctuary for most of the season. It's just... It's really, really unfortunate to see all our survivors like that. We see our group kind of getting ready for war. Really exciting. But it's just the thing is, is that I don't really see uh, our survivors uh, really uh, too strong this season. Aside from the finale. So I think, unfortunately, I don't think Season 7 is the best season. I think where does Season 7 fit? I'm going to say it's about right below season four, which is the third worst season. And I know that's pretty that's pretty down, but it's just my opinion. It's just kind of the way I'm really picturing it. But anyway, guys, uh, make sure to write your comments below. What's your favorite season, worst to best, or you know, vice versa? Write it down in the comments, and I'll see you guys really soon. Peace.